Those who invest are obviously looking for returns as much and as quickly as possible. So when you buy stocks, you want to buy the ones that perform best and outperform their sector peers or the market in general. In most cases, such companies will have a nice growth track record together with strong sales figures and more than decent margins. To find such quality stocks, there are several ways, but in this video, I'll take a closer look at one important measuring tool that should not be missed, the relative strength of the stock in question. When using relative strength, one is actually going to compare the value of a stock to another stock, the entire sector or even an index, like the S&P 500, for example. The stronger the stock performs relative to its sector peers or the market in general, the stronger the relative strength of that share is. Mind you, the relative strength discussed in this video is totally different from the RSI indicator. The latter is a technical momentum indicator that indicates whether a share is overbought or oversold. The RSI also measures the relative strength, but does so from a different perspective. The share is compared with the recent performance of the same share. Within Chartmill, there are no less than three different relative strength indicators available, two of which you can also use as screen filters. This form of relative strength was described and used in the book Point and Figure Charting by Thomas Dorsey, and Dorsey was using XO charts, but one can also interpret it on regular charts. The value of the indicator is calculated each day by dividing the price of the security by the price of the index. Then it is multiplied by 100, just to have some numbers that are more or less reasonable. But this doesn't impact the behavior of the indicator. So what can we do with this indicator? Have a look at the following chart. It is easy to see that if this indicator rises, the stock is outperforming the market, and if it declines, the stock underperforms the market. The rising or declining is independent of the actual rise or decline of the stock price itself. The relative strength only expresses how the stock performs relative to the market. It is perfectly possible for a rising stock to have a declining relative strength. If the market rises harder, the division will lead to smaller numbers each day. In Chartmill, we are always comparing with the S&P 500 index and we use the ETF with ticker SPY to do this. As a consequence, if you look at the Dorsey relative strength for SPY, it will always show 100. This variant of relative strength was used in the book Secrets for Profiting in Bull and Bear Markets by Stan Weinstein and Weinstein was using the indicator mainly on weekly charts. In this separate article, you can read what the difference is with the Dorsey relative strength. However, the intent of the indicator is the same. Both indicators look for stocks that outperform the market in general. And only the rising or declining of the indicator matters for this. Stan Weinstein insisted that breakouts out of a base had to get together with rising relative strength. And the Mansfield relative strength needs to be rising close to or above zero. This indicator has the advantage over the Dorsey relative strength that the values are below or above the zero line, and this allows us to screen for stocks with an MRS value above zero. When we see that the Mansfield relative strength is far above zero and has been above zero for some time, we have found a stock that outperforms the market heavily, and we can buy this kind of stock when dips occur. Screening for stocks using the Mansfield Relative Strength Indicator is easy. There are two filters available in Chartmill. The first filter allows you to set the minimum or maximum value of the Mansfield Relative Strength. If you move the slider from left to right, you set a minimum value. And if you move the slider from right to left, then you define a maximum value. The second Mansfield filter allows you to determine that the Mansfield value should rise or fall be below or above the zero line, and you can even scan for a specific upward or downward crossing of the zero line. Upward crosses of the indicator are particularly interesting for spotting breakout setups. However, keep in mind that these screens are based on the weekly charts, so view the results on the weekly time frame for proper interpretation. If necessary, you can cha change this by clicking on the main chart menu and then selecting weekly from the drop down menu under the time frame tab. At Chartmill, we assign a relative strength trading number to every stock in our database. The relative strength number of a stock indicates how well the stock has been performing over the last year compared to all other stocks in our database. The maximum number is 100 and the minimum is 0. 
when the value would be 90, it means that the stock outperformed 90% of all other stocks. That number is calculated by looking at the performance of each stock over the last year, but more weight is put on the most recent performance by adding the performance of the last quarter. After calculating the absolute performance for each stock, all stocks are ranked according to the above metric, and after ranking them, a value between 0 and 100 is assigned for each stock. The stock with the highest value for the metric will get a value 100 because it outperforms all other stocks in our database. So in short, the relative strength rating number is a number obtained by ranking all stocks of a market by performance. The Chartner Relative Strength Number database has several segments as we do not compare the stocks across regions, so there are separate relative strength rankings for the US segment, Canada and Europe. The filters related to relative strength are next to the Mansfield Relative Strength filters also on the performance tab of the stock screener. And the following filters are available. A slider that allows you to filter on the minimum and maximum chart mode relative strength value. And this filter is similar to the slider of the Mansfield filter. And also filters related to the 13 and 52 week high or low of the chart mode relative strength number. This allows you to look for stocks with an improving relative strength. The stock screener also allows to sort by relative strength for each filter or combination of filters you select. This allows, for instance, to rank the output of on any screen according to relative strength. And you can find the criteria under performance in the sorting options. The relative strength number is also displayed in the tables, the technical views and on your custom views. This is a list of the different sector ETFs and I'll put a direct link in the description so you can use and save it to your own Chartmill account if you want to. On my screen, the view is set to charts by default. If I would like to know which sector ETF has the highest relative strength, click on the inverted triangle in the blue bar next to the entry sorted by. And from the drop down menu, choose performance and then Chartmill relative strength. You will now see these ETFs in order of the sector ETF with the highest relative strength rating first. Now click in the blue bar next to view and choose overview table. In the table you will see a chart relative strength column showing the relative strength value of the different sector ETFs, ranked from high to low. By tapping on it, you change the order and first get to see the sectors with the lowest rating. Now that you know which sectors are performing best, you could go a step further and search within those sectors for individual stocks that are performing the best. In the stock screener, we first set a few basic general filters, such as region, minimum price, minimum volume. Next, we choose a specific sector. We just noticed that in addition to the energy sector, the utilities sector also scored quite well. So we're going to select this sector and then we'll rank all the stocks from this sector based on the chart mill relative strength. In this way, you can see very quickly what are currently the best performing stocks within a specific sector. And to conclude, I set an additional filter on this selection. Namely, I only want to see the stocks for which the Mansfield relative strength indicator has crossed the zero line upwards because this is often accompanied by a breakout above a significant price level. In bear markets, as we have experienced in recent months, it is certainly advisable to keep an eye on the relative strength of sectors and stocks. Stocks that perform strongly at the first signs of recovery and thus exhibit high relative strength are usually those that will perform strongest in a new bull market. Relative strength is therefore a useful comparison tool when considering stocks for your portfolio. And that brings us to the end of this video. Many thanks for watching and if you found the video useful, please don't forget to give us a like. It helps to give our channel more visibility, allowing us to provide even more quality content. Trade safe.